from the outside Maplecroft Mansion may look like your average Queen Anne Victorian home a remembrance of historical architecture for centuries long ago however that beautiful exterior belies the dark history that took place within located in the town of Fall River Massachusetts this historical home once belonged to none other than Lizzie Borden who was famously accused of killing her father and stepmother with hatchets back in 1892 now the house is for sale but why would anyone want to buy it Borden's trial and subsequent acquittal are legendary amongst true crime fanatics as Rolling Stones Elizabeth Yuko put it Borden's story was one of the first trials in American history that both fueled and was fueled by major mass-market newspapers and magazines curious townspeople visited the murder scene and tampered with evidence the only suspect Borden gave inconsistent morphine slurred testimonies about her role or lack thereof in the crimes given much of this shaky evidence the jury acquitted her years later a movie called the legend of Lizzie Borden which starred Elizabeth Montgomery fictionalized the trial but why why did a murder trial that ended in acquittal capture the attention of so many people a staff reporter shared her thoughts on the case's fame with Rolling Stone our proper Victorian ancestors couldn't fathom that someone among the upper class especially a woman could commit such a heinous crime said journalist Deborah Allard of the local Herald News obviously the details of the murders of Borden's father Andrew Borden and her stepmother Abby Durfee Gray Borden were quite grisly nevertheless after the trial concluded Borden came into some wealth namely her father's estate which she used to purchase Maplecroft Mansion the million dollar or should we say six hundred ninety nine thousand dollar question is was this mansion home initially bought with blood money since the residence was put up for sale the details of Borden's time there have once again been placed under the microscope any prospective owner should be sure to understand what they're buying but after taking one look inside the property one might say that whatever history was attached to the house might not even matter the house has been restored since the Bordens owned it and has served as a private residence to other families the Realtors at the listing agency even noted that it would make an excellent bed and breakfast all the furnishings are included with the sale even better the murders forever attached to the Borden name didn't occur at this residence so the future buyer is hopefully safe from all manner of ghosts ghouls and apparitions still Maplecroft Mansion itself is not without its own controversy after Borden's infamous acquittal in 1893 and subsequent purchase of Maplecroft Mansion with money that may or may not have been tainted a few article worthy controversies and whispers spread the New York Times for instance couldn't help but raise a few questions about the Borden sisters in a September 10 1893 article one writer critically noted that they weren't wearing black in remembrance of their father even though it had only been a year after the murders still the press wasn't all bad after Borden and her sister moved into the 4,000 square foot residence the New York Times also wrote on September 24 1893 the orphans have shaken from their pretense surroundings that must have been a nightmare for them and they're at last living in a style becoming to their means regardless the knowledge of the home's history cannot be erased by any of the chandeliers or six fireplaces even though the beautiful walnut wainscoting and parquet flooring might help to assuage some concerns and if something in a home buyer's subconscious still turns them away from a house followed by a controversial history maybe a view of the master bedroom might change their mind there's plenty of room for activities for instance after taking a visual tour through all the rooms of the house it's obvious the realtors see the history of this property as its real selling point given how many framed pictures of Lizzie Borden are scattered about you know you're in a top-notch dream home when even the staircase screams aristocracy with another picture of Lizzie Borden a crystal chandelier and eccentric running carpets it's as eye-popping as the fully furnished living room originally the house itself was listed for seven hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars but not long after the posting it fell to six hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars that could be a bargain depending on your view of the murders and whether or not you want a chance waking up to the tune of that creepy Lizzie Borden nursery rhyme so what do you think is this house worth the price tag or does its association and history scare you away whatever your feelings you can't deny that Lizzie Borden certainly had a great taste in real estate this would be an awesome house to own right not just because you'd be living in a mansion but because it packs a powerful history too